Okay, the element rhenium has an average atomic mass of 186.207. So I'm going to underline that. Um, it has two naturally occurring isotopes, 185, uh, 185 and 187. Uh, rhenium, one, uh, rhenium is 62.60% 187. I uh, change this color over here. Um, and it has an atomic mass of 186.957. So this actually goes with this. They want to know is what is the atomic mass of 185. So uh, this is still the same formula we use for average atomic mass, but we're looking for a different variable. So they gave us the total mass of the, uh, the average atomic mass of the element to be 186.207. So that's the, actually the answer. Um, for element one, let's just keep them together here. So for element 187, um, my percentage, and I'm going to convert it to decimal right away, 0 0.6260. So that's my percentage here in decimal form. Um, so that's my percentage times its mass, which is 186.956. Okay, so that's the first isotope. So... RE one eighty seven. Okay, now the second isotope is so plus. We don't know its percentage, so I'm just going to put a percent symbol here because we don't know, and we don't know its mass, and that's what we're looking for. I should probably actually drag it closer to where it should be. Over here. Okay, so in this problem, we have a, uh, one expression with two unknowns, and that's impossible to answer. But we know that's other percentage here, because we only have two isotopes, and this is 62.60%. So, and since they both have to add up to 100%, this one has to be 100 minus 62.60%. That gives me 37.4%, uh, or 0 0.374. So I actually know the percentage of this uh, other isotope by simply subtracting the percentage of the other first isotope by 100, because both of these, uh, both of these have to equal, um, both of these have to equal 100% for that to work. Um, at this point, it becomes now an algebra problem, and we're solving for this x right there. So I'm just going to rewrite the expression: 186.2. Whoops. Erase that really quick. 207 equals, so there's my percentage, um, 0 0.6260 times 186.956 plus uh, 0 0.374 parentheses x. So now I got an expression here. I'm going to solve for x. So I'm going to combine some like terms here. 186.207. I'm going to multiply these two numbers. So 0 0.6260 times 186.956. And I get this number 117.0348. Plus 0.374x. Okay, I'm going to subtract both sides by this expression here. And I'm going to get uh, 86.207. So using algebra, I get 69.1722544 because I brought. Uh, this over to this side equals 0 0.374x. Fix that. All right. Now I got to divide both sides by 0 0.374. That cancels out, and my x is going to be so 69, that long number, divided by 0 0.374. And I got an answer to be 184 point. Now I'm going to stick with my sig figs here, which is, uh, looks like six, 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 six figs, 953. 
AMU. So this is my X, that is the missing mass of that isotope, um, 184.956. It's within reason, because the average mass is 186.207, and the first isotope is 186.956, and so 184.953 is within reason of, of what that mass of that isotope would be.